I talked to the IC about an hour ago. The fire behavior is extreme. There's been no structures lost and no injuries. I'm going to give you a current list of the resources on the fire. We have one small, light helicopter. We have three heavy helicopters. We have three air tankers flying out of Prescott. We have one very large air tanker flying out of Phoenix. We have 25 engines. Most of the engines are down in the canyon protecting homes. On order, we have 13 more hotshot crews. There's eight on the fire now. There's 13 more on order. There's 40 more engines on order and a type one incident management team that will probably take the fire sometime tonight. The fire has established itself in Sterling Canyon. I know this isn't a great map, but this is what we got. Here's Sterling Canyon, here's Pump House Wash, there's Kachina. If you look at Sterling Canyon and Pump House Wash, Pump House Wash went from the south, west to the northeast. That's the way the winds are going. Okay. An hour ago, the IC told me that if the fire gets in, pump house wash, he wanted everybody to get ready to evacuate. I was just notified that has happened. It is in pump house wash. At this time, they're putting a dozer line on the south side of Kachina and the west side of Forest Highlands, a contingency line to help it if it gets that far. They're putting a dozer line in south of Kachina and west of Forest Highlands. If the fire crosses the 237 road at Pump House Wash, the order for evacuation will be recommended to the Sheriff's Office, which has the authority to order that. Kachina or? Repeat, just repeat. To Kachina, evacuate Kachina and Forest Highlands, the order will be recommended to the Sheriff's Office if the fire in Pump House Wash crosses the 237 road. What about Mountaineer? Can't say on Mountaineer. As you can tell things, this fire hasn't even been going for 24 hours, so it's changing by the minute. An hour ago, it hadn't established itself in Pump House. It has now. So officially, we're telling you right now, get ready to evacuate. Things will change very, very rapidly. The sheriff will cover the details of the evacuation. You can leave now if you'd like to leave the meeting now. But okay. please be quiet so we can continue. Our, our sheriff's office, our chief deputy Jim Driscoll, will come up next and talk about the evacuation process. Let's do that first. Thank you. My name is Jim Driscoll. I'm the chief deputy for the Coconino County Sheriff's Office. Should there be should should there be the notice to evacuate? You'll receive that through code red if you're subscribed to that system. But we will also put uniformed officers in Kachina Village to conduct the evacuation and advise people. They will be in uniform. We're not going to put other people.